Hello, this is Sonia here, and I'm happy to be back with another Real Talk podcast episode um, here on YouTube. And for this fourth episode, I wanted to take a look at how we can overcome despair. And I think that those of us who've experienced uh, despair might very well describe it as a debilitating state of hopelessness resulting in a strong belief that there is no hope of a rescue for us. So what can we do when we find ourselves in a debilitating uh, state of despair? Uh, First, I want to encourage anyone who um, might be experiencing despair at the moment that I believe there is real hope for us to overcome despair, especially when we begin to learn who God is um, and who we are in Christ. I also believe that this crucial journey of overcoming despair can begin in earnest um, for us as we enter into a process of renewing our minds and changing our thought processes. And so when feelings of despair strike, Um, It usually does not take very long for us to realize that we are going to need help in dealing with the feelings and the thoughts associated with despair. And I believe that through the power of God's transforming grace, we can experience a renewing of our minds, especially when we meditate on God's powerful truths um, and Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 3, I think is a really encouraging um, scripture to kind of meditate on. And it says, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. And so how beautiful is it uh, for us to meditate on the idea that God actually wants to anoint us to proclaim good news to the poor and freedom for the captives. And how wonderful to meditate upon the redemptive idea of receiving beauty for ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. And as we're making the choice to meditate on these wonderful truths and as God's transforming grace is empowering us to begin to live them out in our personal lives, I believe we will find ourselves starting to live more and more free of despair. And I wanted to share um, some ways that I believe we can walk out this transforming process of renewing our minds Uh, that I hope will be uh, helpful for us. And the first one is that we can make it our goal to love the Lord with all our hearts. And Matthew 22, verse 37 says, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. The second way um, I believe we can renew our minds is to give ourselves to the Lord in a wholehearted way as we remember that God is after our hearts. And so when we give ourselves to God in this way, even though it might be costly, we will find true joy. And the third way I believe we can renew our minds is to to know that the offering of ourselves to God is um, holy and pleasing to him. And he accepts this offering of our love, life, and service as holy because he evaluates us through mercy. 
It's sacred to him, and our true worship is holy and pleasing to him. And so the giving of ourselves moves God deeply. People sometimes live in despair because they believe the lie that the offering of themselves to God is not holy or pleasing to him. Um, and, it, and it is. Uh, the fourth way we can renew our minds is to no longer conform to the world system and to know and understand that that system will not bring fulfillment to us. And so it's important that we not listen to the world's evaluation of who we are or how important our life is because the world can never give us value. Only God can. And so we need to listen and um, accept God's evaluation and his priority to conform us more and more into Him, his image. And this is more important than our trying to accomplish or be something in man's eyes. And the fifth way we can renew our minds, I believe, is to know that God has a master plan for our lives and we can be confident of this, um, that he will complete his good work in us. And that is from Philippians 1 verse 6. And as we are trusting his leadership in our lives and we're being faithful in the small things, we can know that daily faithfulness is important to God and that faithfulness in little things leads to greatness. And so we don't, you know, again, need to listen to what the world tells us greatness is because that's just really going to lead us down um, sort of dead end roads. We are actually God's workmanship. And that's from Ephesians 2 verse 10. And the sixth way that we can renew our minds is to know that God's leadership in our lives is good, pleasing, and perfect. And that God leads us in a way that is good for us. And he works all things for our good. That's um, Romans 8 verse 28. God's plan is satisfying because, because it is uniquely designed for our lives. And that is found in um, Psalm 139. So God's plan is perfect and it can't be improved on. And finally, as we learn to say no to the enemy's lies and we don't agree with the enemy, um, and we're remembering that he is the father of lies, and that's in John 8, verse 44, we are actually pulling down uh, strongholds in our minds by renouncing those lies uh, that the enemy might speaking be speaking to us about God or about who we are in the Lord. So when condemnation, shame, fear, or despair tries to rise up in our hearts to challenge what God has promised us in his word, we can come against it by confessing the truth and resisting the enemy's lies. And as we speak out loud um, specific verses from God's word, they combat those lies of the enemy and our words are powerful in causing faith to grow in us and again, by learning to agree with God's word, we actually, uh, we release God's power um, into our lives. So um, I do hope that this has been an encouragement to you. And I want to thank you as always for joining me. I look forward to being back with you again soon with another Real Talk podcast episode here on YouTube. Until next time, be blessed and have a wonderful rest of your day.